Hi guys, this is Tati at KLT at TT Station. Um, today, as you notice, I have my best friend, uh, my best friend on my Facebook. On my Facebook page, on my phone, then I'm gonna let you hear. Her name is Miss Anime Raven, and I hope you really like Miss Anime and Raven. So, here she is. Okay, her name is Miss Anime Raven, but we met in high school. We were best, we were best friends since eight years, I think, or nine years. So I hope you have I hope you hear her voice right now. Right. Yeah, I remember 
Purple, yellow jacket, right? Yeah. I have a lot of jacket. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
not gonna even think about this video, but, um, as you would. <laughs> um, like I was saying, I hope you guys know this, really know this, that, um, that, um, that, um, I broke my mom's trust, and the reason why I broke my mom's trust is because I was really an, in her face, I mean, <laughs> in her face, like, come on now, going in her face, saying, um, neat stuff to her, and I was, like, upset because, um, she brought a ticket for nothing, and I told her, Mom, why do, what's the point of spending money on yourself, and then you're buying ticket, 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 ticket for nothing? So she said, well, you, you broke my trust. I'm like, I broke your trust? Wait a minute. Hold up. I broke the trust. Mm -hmm. I broke your trust, though. So she said, yeah, I broke my trust. So, um... As you notice, I didn't want to mean, I didn't mean to hurt my mom, but I felt bad saying stuff to her, to hurt her. And it's really hard as a parent and a youth to trust what you're, what you're saying to your mother before you said it. Um, yes, I did. I was a very bad girl. I was yelling at her. I was screaming. I was not in a good mood. Just call it, I wasn't in a good mood. I was like, <coughs> number one, this is bad girl. And so I didn't want to know what to say to my mom, to myself. I was like really upset. I I will tell you why we had a fight last night. Um, we had a fight because I was. We had a fight because I was, um, was talking to her about, um, the plane ticket. She said, oh, are we going on a plane, da 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 I said, yeah, we might go on a plane. So, for For making everything short, I went into it. I got in trouble. I did not want to listen to what she says. I didn't got. I ate cents later because what she did was wrong. I told her no. I told her, no, you brought the ticket, you brought a ticket, you can't say to the ticket that you canceled it, you can't cancel the ticket, you can't, you can't cancel it without my renewal, well, everybody knows, you can't say, um, that I'm gonna cancel the ticket right now and da 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 da, no. I'm sorry. That's not how it is. That's not how it's going to be. You cancel the ticket. I cancel the ticket for nothing. Um, we went there for no reason. And it doesn't matter when or where. It doesn't matter when. You're that you're um you're leaving. You're going to Canada. 
And yeah, and then after that, I'm going to change with my mom. And then after that, you're saying that, oh, I changed my mind. My mom, my sister ain't gonna be there. My sister ain't gonna be there. Um, number one, it doesn't matter if you have. A, if you, it doesn't matter if your sister is not there. If it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if your sister is there or not. It's like, <clears throat> for me, I didn't meant to say stupid. I didn't meant to say she's dumb. But I, I just said it anyway. I had no choice to say, okay, mom, I was really angry about it. And, mom, please forgive me. I was. I was really upset because I said those things to her, to hurt her feelings, to to think that I'm the boss of my mother, not her, the boss of me. So, as I'm going to be the 24, I mean 25, as I'm going to be 21, 22, 23, 23 years old, 24 years old, in August, I just want to say that it doesn't matter if you're a grown up or you're still a child or still a kid, still trust your mom because they will get in your behind like this, especially Haitians. Us Haitian culture, they just think about you and say, okay, you can't do whatever you can. You can't do whatever you can. And I do. They'll just argue with you and argue with you. Like I said, I'm wrong to say that to my mother. But if somebody makes me mad, it's not going to be number one. It's going to go rewind, then go back to you again. <sighs> to make everything short for me, um, what I said... And what I did, yelling my voice out loud to my mother last night, on on Wednesday night, it was really a, official. I called her dumb. I called her a, um, to shut up. I know, I know it's not, I know it's not my first time to say that, but I never said dumb before. I never said, oh, my mom is dumb just because she can't trust me, da, 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 da. And then I argue with my dad, too. And and it was really official for me to say, stand in her face and said, she's dumb, da, 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 and all that. But young youths, young people, I know it's not easy to be with your mother and dad in your case. But you have to. Just you have to do this. You got to keep saying that you're you're trustworthy. You have to trust what your mother says. Um. You got to obey what your mom says and your dad and tell yourself, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I can do the right way than the wrong way. I could understand my mother than the wrong way. I could say bad things sometimes than the wrong way. You know what I mean? You feeling me? It's hard to say that, um, for me, it's really hard, guys. I can't stand, I can't, yes, I could say, oh, I can't stand this so-and-so, I can't stand her, I can't stand you, but try to say it more and more and more again, it's really hurtful. It's hurtful for me. Just as a child, 
as a young adult want to be independent, they can't trust you. Um, I don't know about any Americans. I don't know about Spanish people. I don't know anything about Spanish parents than Haitian parents. Well, I could stand, I could say to a Haitian parent, how you raise your child, be careful. Because us, we're going to walk all on top of you and then after that we're just going to leave you. But it's like hard to say to a Haitian parent, I'm the boss. I'm the body of my, I tell you what to do, you don't tell me what to do. Um, in America, people, you should be lucky that you have a mom. Most people can't have a mom for today because they, they um, are really aggressive to their mother. But I'm not saying that I'm aggressive. I'm not. I'm not saying Tati is aggressive because why would I be aggressive for? Why would I do something wrong to be disobeying God than disobeying my parents? Can't listen to my parents while they're talking, while they're yelling at me. I disobeyed my mom last night about we're going to Canada in a few weeks. In a couple of weeks, so, on the 27th, so, I told my mom, hey, you know what, I disobeyed you, come on, I didn't trust you, I didn't, I, I lost my tr confidence over you, I was really wrong, I was really in, in your face, you know. I was really mad because you did this to me. You hurt my feelings. You you got me upset. It's hard to say to a mother, Haitian parent, oh, I'm the boss of my body. I do whatever I want to do. Hey, you know what she'll say? You know what a Haitian parent will say? They will say, well, you're the oldest, you do whatever. If you don't have a car, you don't drive, you can't do anything without yourself. So, for me, as myself, I was guilty. I was guilty to say those things to my parents, to my mom. But, I was not inside of me. I felt like I'm a push to say those things in front of my mom. Like calling her weird a bitch or something, like saying go fuck herself, go and say stuff about her and her real name. Like get somebody's mother talk about her mama. <sighs> I feel bad. I said she's dumb. You don't have no confidence. You are you're really, really, really dumb dumb. And I know it's hard for you know, all the youth it, who's living with their parents right now. Watch this video. Just say, Mom, I'm mad at you because you didn't, you just brought the tickets or you just um, hurt my feelings because you calling me a, um, you calling me rude things, you saying that I'm... I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm not saying... I'm not saying to anyone, oh, my parents are perfect than your parents. No. I'm not online. I'm not going to be online saying those things. So, I was saying to myself, and I felt guilty. I slept really perfect. I slept, I slept. I keep thinking. I said, you know what? I think in my head, I say, you know, I gotta apologize to my mother. What she says, what I said to her, I have to apologize. And there was not like a cap fight. Like most American people right now, they, the parents yell at their, the mother, the mother yell at the child. They feel like punching, but you can't. You know what? Uh, how Haitian parents are. You can't lift your hand or you can't lift anything in front of them and say, 
Oh, I'm going to hit you. You're not going to hit me. Hey, I don't do that. I, I trust my mom. But, hey, I can't say to myself, I could say, oh, you know what? I don't think she trusts me, and I don't know if she'll protect me. I don't, and I don't know if she'll obey me like I disobey her. Um, yes, it's hard to be obeying your mother first than God, but first you obey God in God's rule. Um, what is that book? In God's rule. They say, um, I had the book, I don't know where it is. Oh, maybe it's in here. Ooh. Or maybe it's not. Um, in God's rule, it says, um, you have to, if you obey Him, if you obey God, then you gotta obey your parents, you gotta respect what your parents tell you what to do. Um, yes, sometimes I do this, sometimes I didn't want to do it again because. It hurts in the inside. It hurts in the outside. You're you're moving on to another path. But for me, like I say, if you have a struggle with a parent, just say you know, God, shut it down. Keep don't keep your mouth zip. Don't say anything. This is going to be for everybody online. Don't say don't say anything about what you did on your on that day. If you got disappointed about your parents saying stuff about you behind your back uh or um you didn't want to listen to your parents and such and such or you just say, you know what, I just had it with him, and so and so, well, for me, I really did that way, I really felt that way, and I said to my, my mom, I didn't want to talk to my mom, she cooked, I didn't, I almost, I almost, I almost didn't want to eat, I didn't, I didn't want to do nothing last night, you know? How she talked to me, how she treated me, was wrong. Was wrong, what she said. But, I forgive that. I forgive her, no matter what. I forgive her anyway. She's my mom, I'm her, I'm her only one daughter. I have four sisters. I do. I have four sisters around me. I have Bianca, my sister mother, my sister Bianca, she don't live with me, and I'll tell you one part of her, I'll tell you one thing about her, um, the reason why she don't live with me is because, oh, sorry, the reason why she don't live with me is because the reason why she don't live with me is because I she had a, she had a boyfriend there over I was ten I was like in elementary middle school I was ten years old I was minding my business so we just got home from our trip a railroad trip my boyfriend my sister didn't want to go so so I. I ignored, I, I, I was coming home from, from the store with my mom, and hey, out of nowhere, my room was closed, there was a boy in my room, I didn't know what's going on in there, and then I said, oh, you, hello, what's going on in my room, so, nobody knows, I didn't know what's going on in my room, I didn't even know anything was going on in my room, so, yeah, so, I was really panicking inside, I'm like, please don't let me see anything, I'm messing dirty, that's things that I shouldn't say, hey, you know what happened to Bianca? She got kicked out of the house. She invited a boy 
while we were out shopping and she invited a boy to my to her house in my room because all four of us shared room all four of my sisters shared room so we shared room it was like a bunk bed in my older house this is my new house on um, this in my old house we shared bunk bed we're like sharing bunk beds and such we have bunk bed over here bunk bed over there and another bunk bed for four sisters <sighs> for me I thought I saw everything is okay in the house all I heard is you know what I'm not gonna say online on, the, on my video we heard did it, did it, did it, did it. Banging on a wall, not sex on the thing, on thingy. Songs about something, and I got in my room. I, I just said, "Whoa, what the?" You know, so loud. I said, "Whoa, what the?" And then I ran out. I said, "Mom, something is in my room. They're having you know what." So my mom talked to Bianca. My mom said, "Bianca." You know what? You're not supposed to have you know what in your sister's room. So all of us, all of us were really shocked what she did. What she did was wrong for me. For me. What she did was wrong. Sneak a boy in the house. We told her not to. Just sneak a boy in the house. Yeah, right. Sneak a boy into the house. We told you not to do it. So... We said, you're not supposed to sneak a boy in the house. So, hey, she sneaked it. God forbid, I don't know what happened to the boy. God forbid. Um, we, we didn't even know. We didn't even say, and I didn't even say, whoa, now hold up, did we got a boyfriend in there that we just got man up that we just got manned up she went to her gym brother she just got manned up and then we got man to man I'm like forget it so I said forgot it you said forget it I said forget it I'm like you know it can be a thing with a boy and a boy so as we noticed, a boy came in the house, came in, talked to my sister. My sister said, oh, I don't know any boys like this. I'm like, really? She's in, he's in your room, not mine. My room doesn't say a boy's in my room, does it? No. So, um, so she said, so she says, like, um, it's just, it's, it's very funny for a boy to be in my room. I'm looking, and the boy was in the room. So my mom came in, and she said, you know, you know, um, you know, that's not fair for all four of your sisters. That's not fair for all three of your sisters have to see a boy inside doing, you know what. So she said, I said, yeah, that's not true. That's not supposed to be happening. So, my my sister said, Mom, can I tell you something? You said, what do you want to tell us? I have sex. I mean, I have a baby. I'm pregnant. She's like, whoa. So, we kicked her out of My mom kicked her out of the house. Since. So, that's why we can't. That's why we can't can't even say that we have sisters. I do. I call her, I text her, but she can't come here. We text her, we t call her, we we talk to her, we chat. She can't come here at all. Mm -hmm. She's not forbidden to be in here. Because she, we can't trust. 
So, the second sister, she, the last sister was my 16-year-old girl sister. She's my 16. She's 16. She's 16 years old, so she's my sister. So, um, hey, we didn't trust her either. We have yeah. So, so, um, she's 16. We didn't ask her. So, so my sister said, yeah, I don't want to do nasty stuff. I'm like, mm, why? I don't want to do nasty stuff. I'm like, yeah, right. Why? I don't want to get in trouble. Like, you better not do that. So my 16-year-old girl, my 16-year-old sister, she's, she have nieces. My 20 she has nieces, and she has mm, a lot of nieces taking with her. She take, have to take care of her husband. They're married, Bianca, my sister, and I have a little niece named Bianca, Sophie, Adriana. I have nieces, a lot of nieces. So, and my other sister, her name is Liliana. Liliana. Liliana, she's, she's, um, she's okay. She lives in Danbury. She got married. She have a lot of kids. She have nieces and nephews. I have nieces and nephews with my other sister. She didn't do wrong. But, we have, um, um, my other sister. Her name is Tiffany, Tiana, Tiffany, we, she was like, not fun to have around, <laughs> she had disobeyed my mom, so disobeyed her, telling her stuff about herself, like, hey mom, you should not worry about all of us, <laughs> my mom not listening, so, as you know, those of you who guys are in my church, um, you should know my mom. You should, like, say, in front of me, Tat does Tatiana, does Tatiana, um, say stuff about me. She'll better, she'll say yes. And I think you guys have any plans for me to um not to be rude about not to be rude to my mom please tell me please comment me please say stuff about me all right and here as i have a rainbow a rainbow um bandana a headband it's a rainbow headband as you see purple blue pink I'll show y'all the colors. So purple, blue, yellow, green, blue, light like sky blue, pink, yellow, and green, and um, orange, and a little yellow greenish. Um, it's a headband. It's a rainbow hand, headband, and. Um, if you guys have any question about me and your parents, I will tell you what to do and what not to do with your parents. So, I hope you guys watch this video. It's Tati, A-K-L-T-A-T, T Station. My real name is Ronit, R-O-N-I-T-H, Ronith. Busey, as you see right here, um, B E A U S S E. But they call me Tati for short because my name, my church friends call me Tati for short because Tatiana is also Tati. So 
um, that's why I called my page and my Facebook page Tati and my YouTube and my Twitter Tati. So it's Tati Anna, but Tati. But Tati. But Tati. A K L T A T T station. So it's Tati. A K L Tati station. And hope you watch this video about parents. And I'll see you on my next video after summer vacation and like I said I am going to do another video to show you my cousins um, in Canada and my aunt and my sister if she's going to be on Facebook on YouTube um usually she don't want to be in there but I'll try so when I get to Canada, I will do post you on my videos and let you covered on my video. So I hope you guys like the video. So, like I say, Tati A K L T A T T station. Hope you watch it and bye. Peace.